So one, we don't make the clinical decisions. That's what healthcare practitioners do. Most of their job is to really understand the needs of patients and match the solutions. Each one is going to have a different treatment protocol based on their experience. But most importantly, they're understanding the individual needs of patients and matching the new therapies that can address those um, unmet needs. Well, one with new targeted therapies, they're allowed um, much more specific mechanisms of action that meet at the heart of what myasthenia gravis is. So either they're basically autoantibodies are cleaned with the FCRN targeted uh, mechanisms, or you're dampening down that overall immune response by inhibiting the C5 complement pathway. And having those types of new, very specific therapies allow for an advancement, one that you're seeing quicker. You're seeing quicker efficacy, as we saw in our clinical trial, as early as the first week. Um, and you're looking at a different type of a safety profile. Clearly, there's no head-to-head -head studies because I can't say one's better than the other, but you're seeing a different safety profile than maybe some of the older immunosuppressants.